You're probably wondering why I have so much Star Wars stuff around me. Well, because we have a guest. Jason from Yak Face. What up, posse? How's Hello, it fellas. going? Hello, fellas. This is Brandon. And Mark. And that's Jason. That's Jason. Jason. Hey, Welcome back, <laughs> buddy. Happy Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. We missed you, man. Yeah. We've been, been trying to do this for a couple of weeks. Yeah. But uh, Weather permitting. Yeah. Right. So I just want to say this. You notice that Darth over here is missing a arm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I asked about that. Um, you know, sadly, one of my clients found that on Craigslist for free. And you can just come pick it up. And they didn't notice the picture that the arm was missing. Because obviously, I would say that he wanted the lightsaber. I'm sure Jason would agree with me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> he thought it would be funny to bandage it up. <laughs> so, and then I, he's like, do you want this? I was like, you know, I'll, I'll give it a home. And then I thought, well, what would I do with that? Well, I've got that gauntlet. Oh, and I was going to put yeah. the gauntlet on him, but it's the wrong hand. Oh, well, he's a robot. You can put it on however he wants. That's true. Jason, have you seen this kind of damage before? Um, In the movies, yes. (laughs) No, I mean, (laughs) in the movies, yeah. What I meant was literally piecing these things out for, you know, Um, a a blaster or a a lightsaber or whatever. Like the the first order stormtrooper you have there, I've seen... This is Tim. He doesn't like to be called that. Yeah, this is Tim. He's he's not affiliated anymore? Not anymore. Okay. Um, I've seen... uh, crafty individuals cut those up and put armor on their kids yeah i've seen that too oh that's a good yeah. idea wow. it's re- and it turns out really well mm-hmm. I've oh seen that. i'm gonna do that for my nephew tim you're gonna get repurposed buddy he's very excited yes. look at tim yeah. tim's <laughs> like yay happy he's, to be here like, he's, he's frowning <laughs> you can tell he's, he's singing a moment like this so since since I'm still in the front line here, uh, Jason, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Sure. Um, Mark, if Mark or Brandon can grab them, um, I've got two of the VHS copies, the box sets. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, Mark okay. or Brandon. Can you tell me the difference between the two of these? I, I really, honestly, um, I was going to look it up, but I thought it would be a funner thing. Funner. I, a funner, funner thing. I believe the gold one mm-hmm. is uh, full it- screen. Like it's not a uh, letterbox or six by nine format. Okay. And this one, this one came out first. Yeah. This was before the special edition. So this is the special That's edition. The extra for, scenes, right? right? Extra scenes, okay. CGI, all oh, that stuff. So okay. this was, sorry, this was, I have billboard. There used to be billboards on the freeway that had yeah. uh, posters of uh, Vader and the Stormtrooper and Yoda, which is on each of the slip cases. Okay. For yeah. These. And uh, I have a couple of those. Really? I would, yeah. That's kind of cool, man. Yeah, uh, where do you where yeah. do you put them? Uh, they're rolled up in the attic of my garage right now. But I was just thinking um, garage because they're you know they're they're big. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. And uh, those are huge, right? What's your life goal? I need you to buy need, a building. You literally so need like a, a fifteen by nine right. room, right? Like yeah, a wall. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine, well, way back, this is well twenty years ago, at least. Um, he worked for. I think it was Negley is the company that Negle, yeah. uh, so, uh, yep. hung all those signs. Mm-hmm. And he worked there and he's like, he saw a couple stacks of them that they weren't using. And he's like, and he picked them up and he's like, do you want these? I'm like, yes. Yeah. That is, <laughs> yes, that is, I do. So um, I wonder I have, what the value is of the, I, 10 those? bucks, I think. <clears throat> I don't know. It's, I mean, I've asked around. I've, I, I know Steve Sansweet. Um, I've gone to, a couple of uh, private events with him. And I asked him about it because I asked him because I was going to donate them to his uh, Rancho Obi-Wan oh, okay. field that he has in California. Mm. And uh, he's like, no, I've already got, <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I didn't ask him what the value was. Cause that kind of seems weird. Cause it sounds like, well, I'm going to get rid of him then, you know, yeah. I'm going to try to make yeah. money off it. But yeah. Um, yeah. It's one of the more rare things that I, I think have. It's yeah, worth can I make quite a, a bit probably for the size and like right, the like, limited I, amount? Well, right, and you have you have how many of them? I have one of each. You have one of each. Yeah. Okay. And they each have a different. Same, it's like experience the trilogy, the original trilogy for the last time, or something like that. I think that's what it says on oh. it because it was before they did the the new effects. Can, so can uh, I make a can I make a suggestion? Sure. A creative suggestion. This is what I would do. I would take them and I would have uh, a designer or somebody measure out your room 
that you collect Mm -hmm. and literally cut it up. And I know this sounds terrible and do your whole walls with it. So it's just right. I was thinking I think that's kind of cool. I, cause I'm one of these people now and, and Mark will tell you, I used to, I, I mean, I'm a box freak. I like to keep everything yeah, in yeah. the box, but this damn toy posse is starting to get me to open things mm-hmm. and change mm-hmm. things and do things like yeah. I want to enjoy them. Well, and what's, what's interesting about those billboard suits is they do come in pieces like, Oh, okay. it's like wallpaper, you know, right, you, right, they go right. up in sections That's kind of what I was thinking. and they kind of tile together. I think there's eight panels and they're four by eight sheets each. Yes. So oh my God, dude, if you do you that, I, wear- will, I will come over and help you do that. So they're pretty big. You That'll need a be- warehouse or something right? at yeah. some point where you could have one on this wall, one on yeah. that wall and one on that wall. I've, I, I took pictures of them at one point where I laid them out in my grass in the backyard to have big enough backyard where i yeah. could just and then i got on top of my garage and i took a picture oh, of each one cool. oh, just to that. see how big oh, they were nice. and i put like a traffic cone next to it that i happen to have yeah and uh <laughs> um, just for scale yeah and it they're, they're pretty big you got it you, you, hey, when you remember send those to brandon so we can pop them yeah. up next time you come in that'd be cool to so, have those pictures. Been, uh what been, do you guys want to start with since i kind of ran with everything and thank you for that information, because I, I'm. You guys tell me. I That's hate the CGI thing. stuff. That's why I like the old Star right. Wars VHS. Well, but they went back. I feel like they, like with the new trilogy, when they use the Muppet instead of a CGI thing. I, I prefer like that. The way they're doing with the Mandalorian, it's like going <clears throat> going back. Yes, to, yeah. I prefer that. But uh, I prefer using my imagination. Speaking instead of, of Mandalorian, uh, I got this awesome Return of the Jedi era Luke Skywalker from SH Figure Arts. Wait, what does so, that have to do with the Mandalorian? Because. At, oh. In the season finale, oh, he is the Jedi that comes to get Grogu. Spoiler alert. He's got Darth Vader's that's, head. No spoiler alert. Now. It's that's streaming. If you a... haven't found it, then <laughs> there's a million reactions. Speaking videos. of Mandalorian, yeah, been bad CGI. Why has he got his dad's head? Yeah, because they know it forces you to buy the uh, Darth Vader so you can do the death scene. <laughs> From Return of the Jedi. Shiny little box. <laughs> like, yeah. like, let, let, let me gaze upon before? you with my own I've never eyes. Seen, I've never seen this one uh, in yeah. hand. It's hard to determine scale, you know, just by pictures online. So right, they, right. They are, you know, a little bit smaller than yeah, the Black six Series. Inches. But, yeah, I mean, the... It's like five and a half the, or five inches. I do... Every picture I've seen of this Luke, it always shows it with that other head, not the one that's on it. Yeah. And I don't like that other head that it has. Cause the, the, it's like the windswept hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. The, the head that's on it looks pretty decent you mark hamill's like an impossible actor to capture the likeness right yeah true and very true you we all have his likeness burned into our brain so we know exactly when we see it if it looks like him or not you yeah know? right right um well even in the mandalorian like they did a yeah. really good job of like yes yeah, certain well. certain certain yeah. angles it and looks just like i got him, but... this r2d2 i got so i got them both from patrick patterson fellow admin of the group but i I didn't read which uh, R2 this was, so I was hoping I could have the lightsaber coming out of his head, but it is the New Hope uh, R2. But it's still cool to keep with him. I'm going to get a custom cloak to make him look like the Mandalorian scene, so that'd be cool to have the R2 with him. Oh, okay. Great. I do like That's the... a sweet R2. That that yeah. R2 is much better than the Black Series one. Yeah, I just, I just love the droids for the Japanese stuff. Yep. R.I.P. Kenny Baker. Wasn't that last year, the year before he just passed away? It was away? like 2018, right? Was it 2018? Yeah, it was a couple years. Yeah. It was like right as Peter Mayhew passed, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, he was 83. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. And well, I just got done watching Time Bandits. Which well, especially someone, someone, someone who has dwarfism, like to live to their 80s. Well, and you know, all of your organs yeah. are the same size as a normal person. That's tough. Right. Anyways, I digress. What else you got? Uh... I will do the last thing I think I have is the Hot Wheels. I got a the awesome for one of these. Luke Land Speeder. So it's like new for 2021. <gasps> no. Yeah. I like that. I couldn't find it. I had it at Walmart. They wouldn't sell it to me. So then I found it at a uh, antique store. So I used like, to oh, I, I used it. to have an old die cast yep. uh, Land Speeder. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very similar to that too cuz it's yeah. got <laughs> wheels on the bottom and Totally. Yeah, it's It's sweet. I want one nice of these. One. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to get one of those too. I found one of those or a couple of them a couple of weeks ago. So now do they have yeah. a different one that doesn't say new for 2021 on it? Oh, probably. It's international, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. They'll have another one. Yeah. As long as it doesn't say 2020, I'm so over <laughs> 2020. All right. What else? Well, I brought in a load of stuff. You Yay! brought in a ton of cool stuff. Um, what do you want to get into? What do you want to start with? Let's start with the Mando stuff. We're kind of on that topic. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, what did you think about the ending of Mando and stuff, by the way, since we got you here? 
I absolutely loved it. Wasn't it amazing? It was. I mean, even the whole. I, I can't remember the last time I was talk, We talked. We had. I think it was right before season, Bo-Katan season two. Yeah, right before Bo Katan was showed up. So yes, that yes. was mind blowing in itself. Just having her show up from the Clone Wars, you know, mm-hmm. and continuing that story and the dark saber and how that all comes back around. And then you've got, um, you've got the, uh, Boba Fett coming back, yeah. which was, was wild. Sweet. Yes. You know, it's like that could have went a totally different way as far as, you know, they kind of teased it in with just the armor shows it up with Cobb Vanth was the yeah. other, yeah. you know, Timothy Oliphant Under playing the, the character. West and how cool episode. was that, that he right. was the marshal. Right. And yeah. that, that was, you know, it was not a new story. Like, that was an existing story from a novel that was already published, uh, Aftermath, Star Wars Aftermath. And they kind of repurposed some of it. It's not exactly the same story. Okay. But the character is, and him being a marshal and all that stuff is, is pretty... Armor. Right, is pretty true to that part of the story. That was cool. That was a great episode. But yeah, they, te- you know, they yeah. team up and then, you know... Boba Fett is they on their show trail. at the end. Yeah. Right. He's there. You're like, whoa. Right. I think it's really, uh, one of the things I noticed in that too, when he gave the armor back, when the marshal gave the armor back, he said, hey, let the guy know whoever this belongs to that I didn't, I didn't make those, I didn't, I didn't make those, I didn't damage your armor. Right. It came that way, which I'm assuming is the Sarlacc pit. Right. Yeah. But you know don't forget, I mean? he also has a weird bullet chip on his crotch area. <laughs> oh, so someone right. tried to shoot yeah. him there and it didn't work. <laughs> Right. Greedo, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, so, what do you think about the book of Fett and, and um, what's going to happen next? Do you have a theory? Do you do you got some dirt for us? Do I, I you, don't do have any dirt. I no? have a theory. Yeah, I think what we saw at the end of yeah. that episode is going to be the end of that series as well. Like, oh, him we're gonna see up. how you know it's gonna come back around and it's gonna tell what what went down between Boba Fett and. Bib Fortuna to go back and want you know kill him because I th- I think it says Boba Fett's name in Mandalorian or whatever maybe Hatties or something on that throne that he went and sat in. Uh-huh. Okay. So there's there's already a backstory they've developed and I think we're gonna kind of jump in at the beginning and then at the when the show runs through we'll see him sitting on the throne. Oh again. my god, I got a huge theory. Oh my god, I think <clears throat> I I think I know where you're going with this too. I think I think what we're looking at is uh, Boba Fett coming back and taking back what's his. Like they're turning him into a, a right. an yeah. anti-hero. Right, and and it's totally the best way to go. I Absolutely, think. you know, it's like sure. it could have been so cheesy, like throwing one-liners and just total fan service. But they took the time to yeah make to do it right. You know, and you right. see him. You know, fighting. But we finally get, we finally get to see a, yeah, a backstory he was for Boba Fett. Mad at. Yeah. Like yeah. he's got a lot of rage pent up yeah. apparently, and he would just went to town on those but, stormtroopers. But before that, you thought you know the only time you got to see Boba Fett in action action is in the books and in the comic books, comic right. books right? And then uh, same thing like you thought, oh, Attack of the Clones are going to show Boba Fett like, and that, even back then people were like, oh, what, what are they going to do? They need to show more Boba Fett. But I mean, like his story you, of becoming you, Boba Fett. If you just think about this character, and how underdeveloped he was and how coincidental he was and how he wasn't in the first movie at all. Right. He was in the holiday special. Yeah. I'll say this. Hey, like, Boba Fett. Can... Boba Fett where? Boba but, but and they Luke. This, but what I'm saying is, is that they released, like I got the mail order when I was a kid, you know, and whatever. But this wasn't even a character that was in the, it's so amazing to me how popular Boba Fett really is right for really not doing anything at all. He's like the Miles Davis of Star Wars. <laughs> you know, he mm-hmm. doesn't say much, didn't do much. He just he just looks in his. He's a badass, right? But he did now. Oh yeah, you and know? he totally yeah. lived up to that. And then even face. Luke in that last episode, it's like this is like the Luke that we kind of wanted to see for in a the, long time in the sequel trilogy. Yeah. 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 Uh, and just to to finish this off and let you go on with more, but um, one of my clients was the actor that plays Boba Fett. I'm sure you know his name. The one that just passed away? The, or No, no, the guy that plays Boba Fett now. Oh, oh the... Tomorrow Morrison? Yes. So, thank you. He, uh, His agent was his best friend, so he went out and had lunch with uh, with him all the time. 
And he said, hey, we were watching The Mandalorian together. And he goes, look, 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 look. There's his Maori tattoos. And they were trying to cover them up. But he's New Zealand. He's Maori. Right. And I was like, wow, that is fascinating. <clears throat> he said he's just a great guy, too. Right. I mean, he's been around for, he's been doing it forever. So. Yep. And they incorporated that Maori uh, fighting style into Boba Fett's character, yeah, which was they pretty did. cool, too. They did. You he know. had that awesome uh, Tuscan Sand Raider weapon. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. sweet. Now, now, the crack. That's gonna ah, be... He was just nailing people with that. <laughs> but <laughs> that's going to be the interesting thing as to why he has that. Why yeah. did they show him with that in the well, first obviously. place? Why did he have that and not his armor and the Jawas did? So what happened between the Jawas, yeah. him, he right. probably uh, had to like abandon his armor once he fell into the. I think they. I think they, they better show it. that scene. Both. I think, I think he Where? got into. I personally think he got into a, a fight with a bunch of sand people, and I think they won. And I think that they left him there. They don't care about, you know, metal or anything. And they just the Jawas came in and stripped him. Right. And so maybe you know he killed one or two in the process, and he got their staff or whatever it is. It's just like mm-hmm. cool. What a cool staff that always has been. I'm like. Yeah. Where'd you come up with this idea that there's a pointy thing and then it's a <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. Okay, I digress. What else do you got? Um, let's see. Well, let's start with I this just came today. This yes. is the, the ice cream maker. Walmart exclusive <gasps> no. uh uh Mandalorian yeah, Din Djarin that comes oh, with all of his gear and, get closer, Mark. And uh the baby Yoda and oh, all that stuff. Man. So he's got his little Camtono there that has the Beskar plates in it and oh i'm so getting that and that's a walmart exclusive yeah, yeah th- there was a whole big fiasco the past couple of days with this like it's been on pre-order for Ooh. since october yeah and just like three days ago they just started canceling everybody's pre-order man and then all of a sudden like 12 hours later they put it up for pre-order again so people were like mad rushing to try to get this thing and i happened to be up at three in the morning yeah, or whatever nice. it went up again and I pre-ordered it and it came today. So wow. this is perfect a, timing. Yeah, too. That one's a little bit different than the uh, standard one that comes in the line. Yeah. His armor is more weathered and he comes with the child. He's and sweet. All that stuff, so. No, you being who you are, Jason, and you know, many, mm-hmm. many years of knowledge, you know, they say you put in 10,000 hours and anything, you become an expert. Right. You're also a, junkie like us when it comes to collecting have you ever tried to get the actual ice cream maker or have you ever seen one i've my i used to have one what uh, not knowing nice. at you know when i'm you know eight years old not knowing what it was at you know at the time uh-huh. yeah. but my family totally had that same one when we were growing up oh my god so, what are those things worth they're pretty they're pretty spending now to track bucks, down. Right? yeah Wow. I'm surprised they don't come out with more of those and just do them all over again. Uh, Literally have somebody buy the mold. You can brand it. it as the Mandalorian ice cream maker and that <laughs> yeah. thing will Yeah, yeah. put a the put ships. a picture of the child on it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sticker it up. Yeah. But, uh, you can actually get the flavors chocolate beskar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Um what else that came the this is the a speeder bike from the episode as well where, where they stole him. Where Love they, it. So he's got the little child in the beat down sack love it and uh that is awesome mark would buy two of those that's an amazon exclusive okay so that came just the other day oh that is really intricate yeah it's it's pretty detailed there's a couple different versions of this too just some weathering details that are different like um, i think one doesn't have the child in it right well one yeah it it has the child in it the uh the the deco on this uh, Scout Trooper itself is really orange looking on okay. uh, one of the variants. Um, there's a, also some little packaging variant changes. So there's but at least two different there's variants two for that one. There's two packaging variants for yeah. sure. Um, Deco c- kind of depends. You know, sometimes things like get a little bit. Super completists, they want to get them all. Right. You know, I haven't tracked down the other one yet, but yeah. we'll see. <laughs> yeah. um, this one also came today. I ordered a, couple, Trooper? ordered a couple of the Scout Troopers. This is from the Jedi Fallen Order video game. It's oh, okay. uh, GameStop exclusive. Oh, they have gaming online. legends or whatever. Gaming greats. Gaming yeah. greats. Yeah, they're. How many of those have they done? Like at there's least... eight. eight. Okay, I was about to say ten. Yeah. And, and those have been pretty popular, right? Oh yeah. yeah, they're they're really pretty cool. There's you know they have droids. They've got like Darth Nihilus, and they have this guy, and they've got a couple fr- from this game in particular. They have. Um, a couple of the different purge troopers that are in the game. They're like these black versions of the airborne trooper from 
uh, Revenge of the Sith. Oh, okay. They're kind of white and orange in that movie, but they're all black, or they have like a red pauldron, or they have these batons with these lightning effects and stuff on them. It's it's pretty cool. It's from the game. I've got a few of those now. So, so. Yeah. Talking um, about variants, you had brought this to everyone's attention the other day. So this is the regular, right? Right. That that one's this is Han Solo, obviously, in his uh, Hoth gear. This is the dark brown jacket version. So this one's more common, you believe? Yeah, this one, what, what you'll see in a second when you hold them up maybe side by side, the first release of this, which these are just starting to hit like in the past month, mm-hmm. this version, his jacket is much lighter than the one on the right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now it's on the left. Do they do that on purpose it, there's conspiracy theories is it that a dye issue it i mean it's the plastic color through and through it's not a paint issue so it's it's uh, it's definitely sculpted or you know um there. molded in that color mm-hmm. so i like that they have his gun in there yeah that's kind of cool but that's yeah that's the first variant the uh that is so strange yeah there's there's always been this kind of running debate about what the color of hans Hoth jacket is anyway because like the original Kenner toy was blue right but that was based on a bad well they say that it was based because of the Hoth and the lighting conditions and how the film was color corrected everything looked blue on Hoth because of the snow and ice and whatnot Uh, but the actual jacket itself is brown dark brown and Mm, there's documentation of the actual prop that shows it's this actual dark brown color and there's throughout the history of star wars action figures starting uh, there was never a brown coat version of that han back in the 80s mm-hmm. but like when star wars toys came back in the mid 90s they played up that fact that there was a debate there were ad there were like hasbro ads run in like toy fair magazine i don't know yeah. if, you're, if you guys remember that what magazine color? yeah I love like toy fair. Yeah. and and they produced the action figure in both ways they had a brown coat and an intentional blue coat version mm-hmm. to you know play up that whole debate and to satisfy the people who were in the blue coat camp or the brown coat camp and they insane. sold a lot more figures yeah. right it's ge- it, yeah, was that it was power genius. of the force or power the power of the force okay. two like they had with, like and bulky then, yep oh, okay. i love those guys yeah. i me personally because they look like little muscle heads and right but i yeah. personally think that those are going to be highly highly collectible soon once people are already collected them all well they're all out there but they're yeah. all dirt cheap but really there's when when nobody cares you don't take care of it so i think oh, that they're gonna, you know what i mean i mm-hmm. think they're going to come yeah. to the wayside and get forgotten right. but that's why i'm going to start swooping them up like dvds yeah. anyways a couple more um this also came today this was this is one of the pops uh this is boba fett based on the concept art of his character um originally done by ralph mccrory and joe johnson Johnson. that is Um, really cool this this one i'm a huge concept boba fett product collector like i've got Mm -hmm. statues and figures and art and yeah yeah just various different things you know both custom and officially produced merchandise and this was one i had to have and it was super tough to get and a friend who I met through my, just through Twitter and just my news posts that he saw that I missed out on it. Yeah. And he contacted me months ago. He's like, Hey, if I could get one of these for from you or for you, you know, are you interested? I'm like, heck yes. And it came, that's, it came that's like the best part about wow. collecting like the community. You know, like, I didn't like, pay, a, yeah. I didn't pay a huge over market value, you know, yeah. anything like Hooked that. I just up. totally, yeah. I would, but that's what I'm saying. That's the best part about <laughs> collecting is like the, the camaraderie like oh, oh yeah. this guy needs this. To yeah. i want it no i kidding. want you to have this and i'm gonna buy that i really don't care what that costs that yeah is and really there's cool. a there's a whole bunch of i the, saw that a, so there's a there's a, a few different ones there's a chewbacca back there a Chewy, darth vader and another a, stormtrooper right stormtrooper yeah. there's two different vaders it only shows the one here there's a yoda star killer yeah yoda. that was star killer was the original name for luke which was also a girl interesting that, that I didn't know. Look at Chewbacca. That... I have the R2. I used to have the R2 in the Look C3PO concept. Yeah. And Vader. Was... Cool, yeah. And what's cool also about... There's like... the concept art that they use with Vader. That's from the... That's where they've got those goofy Star Wars glasses from Burger King. 
Remember the big yep. eyes on those? Yep. You got. I'm sure you got those. Right? Yep, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do too. And that what's kind of cool, sense. you know, about that art as well, like never, never thing ever goes away f- from Star Wars as far as they recycle concepts developed years and years and years yeah. ago, and like the helmet. Yeah. They actually made that canon by. Uh, Obi Wan was wearing it as a disguise in the Clone Wars cartoon. Like they brought yeah. that whole look, and <laughs> yeah, it's the cool. white helmet, and oh, it's just nice. it was. I was totally geeked out over that when that I'm happened, and that was like back in the cool. in the two thousands. I haven't seen that. It's weird to say that <laughs> back in the two thousands. Right. What um, is this? this your hand is, behind it. Oh, the cartoon coin. <gasps> um, Toys for Tots fundraiser every year. Oh. Um, they air the hol- Star Wars holiday special at Bryant Lake Bowl here in, in Minneapolis. And for uh, Toys for Tots charity, and they couldn't do it this year because of the whole COVID and yeah. all that. So um, they produced coins that you could buy, and the proceeds from that then went to Toys cool. for Tots. So that's really cool. You, you guys, I, uh, we're going. To do, we're all going to do that next year. Yeah, I've gone, right. I've gone eight years in a row. For I sure. have no idea. Yeah, I need to either. get one of those coins too. That would be sweet. Are the coins still available? Do you think? <clears throat> I'd have to check. I, I think I, I can't remember if Chris is in the group or not. Chris Grapp. Christopher Graff, does that name sound I can familiar look. to you? I don't know, but I can um, check. Probably. Most yeah. likely, yeah. Who's familiar. not in the group now? I mean, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him. I'll yeah. Get him in the... yeah, if he's um, not, he will be. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, he. they offered those up, and so I had to get one. It, and it had no, Boba Fett I, on it, too. So I kind of yeah, and the cartoon. Point. Point. It's the Put that out. That's got, that's got to be our picture. Like That, that coin is just... I think that's just amazing. Too awesome. Put your yeah. like, hand behind it. Like, that is just... Uh... There you go. Wow. Right it's just there. so cool. You know, those, it's, yeah. you know, aluminum, you know, it's enamel coin, so it's it's yeah. great. I, that came, like, right around Christmas time. Because, like, every year in December, they would have the uh, holiday special. We, uh, you know, we all sit around and have a couple drinks. And, you know, it, and it's a, pul- yeah. you know, a packed house I don't know. where That's they awesome. air that. And it's we'll, a we'll crappy VHS copy no that we watch. And That is awesome. There's, yeah. you know, 50 people there that watch it and eat and drink and i always get excited for christmas time because yeah. you can literally wait for about first week of december and then you go on youtube and you know somebody's uploading the, the holiday special yep. and, yeah. a pretty so, good, and a good quality at that yeah too. and the alternative to watching it lot you know in person since we couldn't do that this year is they streamed it oh. and so we could all dial in and watch it so like so a bunch of you watched it together anyway <laughs> so you could, yeah you could watch yeah. it like that's by really a cool. zoom meeting you know that's yeah that's cool. awesome i love that so it is that. great you know it's it's one of those things as hokey and crappy as the holiday special is it i i can't Come miss on, watch it because i had never seen it prior to eight years ago like oh, i no. and i wanted to start I, I wanted to see it and I felt, you know, Sorry this is the best there. time. So, oh, and then I bring, they can do it this year. I want to go. Right. Yeah. And, I would love to do that. And yeah. I'd bring a box like yeah. a box bigger than this, just filled with toys that I would get. Yeah. Cause I used to get the Hasbro stuff sent to me all the time from yeah. Hasbro yeah. before that all kind of went away. Um, and I just bring, and I just, I donate hundreds away. of dollars worth of toys, that's awesome. you know, and you, that's your price of admission yeah. for the, for the event. And you just have to bring one unwrapped toy. And then and here they, you are bringing like a box. <laughs> yeah. There's this mound of, I mean, yes. everyone's really great. You know, it's, awesome. it's for that's a great awesome. cause. So yeah. uh, I, I Ryan like bulls are pretty cool. Bowling alley. Yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. Tom. And Tiki. Yeah, yeah, it is. Every They're year they throwback. produce a movie poster as well. That original art. So, you know, it's a, uh, uh, silk screen art and it's it's really pretty cool so i've got a, a bunch of those that's from sweet. each year cool well this year we're going if that's oh allowed. yeah no i'm totally yeah. Good. um yeah. before we end this do you have anything from like the site that you want to drive people towards anything you um plug? not in particular i mean i try to post as much as i can you know you can follow me at yakface.com also on twitter and instagram those as far as social media channels go, those are my main ones. You know, mm-hmm. Facebook, I, I, I do updates for the site, but I don't. I'm not as engaged on Facebook as I am with the other two. Uh, yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, it's just easier. It's more, you do Instagram and Twitter then. Yeah, Facebook. just yeah. Instagram and Twitter. Um, I also have a Patreon account. If oh, you yeah. Like to help out with the site, which has been great over the. Yeah. I started that like this midsummer. Yep. And I've got like 60 subscribers. That's it's awesome. Really, for the amount of work cool. that you, you do, do you put yeah. in a lot of work. For the long, for the how long you have been doing it too, since what, 2000 and 
two, three. Um, when did you do it? Start I, before 2005. that. Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Yeah, around there. I mean, I start. I was doing reporting, like right. just sending in stories, and then they gave me like a little. Hey, do you want to write articles? I'm like, sure. Do you want to do reviews? Sure. Do you want to do photography? Sure. And then all of a sudden, do all everything. you want to own it? Yeah, yeah. That's basically, like, okay, you know, yeah. basically uh, doing yeah, it all. <laughs> Brandon, that thing that I hid. Oh, yeah. All yeah. Right, a uh, there's one thing I want to show you before we end. Um, okay. I, I got this from a client, and I, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is the coolest thing, cutest, <laughs> funnest thing. You've seen I this? I have seen this. This is great. Oh, man. It's just a pop up book, but it's like an adult pop up book. That's like, sweet. Like, it's just so intricate and so uh, visually, it, it's got... Oh, it's got, there's the Sarlacc? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the Rancor. Rancor. Sorry, Chase. Oh, the Rancor, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my credit I, there. I can't yeah. believe you just did that, and I oh, agreed with you. It kind of looked like the... Yeah, we'll fix it in post. Like, shame, yeah. shame. From my angle, it looks like Jurassic Park. We'll, we'll, so. just, dub, we'll just dub someone else saying uh, the Rancor over his, yes. what he says is the Sarlacc. I was really impressed with that pop-up. Yeah, that's though. great. That's pretty this is a fun the, one, right? Cantina. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara, for getting that for me. That's great. This All right. Awesome. Hey, thank you, man, for coming on, man. Very cool. I mean, yeah, we really appreciate you coming. We always have fun when we you love come having on. you on the show. Yeah, good. let's let's always set up a, let's set up another one real quick, real soon. Yeah, All right. we'll do that. All right, peace out, people. See ya. Have a good one.